Hi, my name is Stephen McGee, and I'm the author of numerous books on solar power systems and human health. My latest book is called Toxic Light, and it's all about how light can affect your health. I'm going to talk about something very relevant to that book, and it's flat screen digital televisions. But today we're going to talk about electromagnetic interference, as it's an area I'm currently researching. I, I found a large amount of electromagnetic interference throughout my entire house. And I traced it to this flat screen TV. It's about three years old. It's an LCD TV. And I used a very simple AM radio to pick up the noise it was throwing out. And we're going to use that AM radio and we're going to switch the AM radio on. And we're going to scan the house with the TV on and see how extensive this AM radio noise is that the TV is emitting. So here goes. Okay. So our radio is picking up the noise. So very noisy. From the TV, here's what it's like behind it. Let's take a look around. So this is where most people sit watching TV. As we can see, it has an electromagnetic field. So one of the effects I discovered when I was researching the TV is that when you change the channel, it really creates a lot of noise on the radio. So let's continue our walk. We've got TV. We have an area of very high noise over here. It's something that I've noticed. There appear to be pockets of fields in the house that are very strong. We just walked into another one with the TV. Don't pick up the field again and near the front door. So again we just walked into another field. The TV is way over there. We're probably about fifty feet away from the TV. The field extends right up to my front door. This is the last bedroom in the house, and it just about finishes in this zone. So we appear to have walked out of the extent of the electromagnetic field. But right as we come out of this door, we should pick it up again. There it goes. So let's switch the TV off. 
And let's repeat the walk. Okay. It's much different. We've got no field around our people who sit down and watch TV. And here earlier we had a very high patch of noise. There's something still here, but it's much different. And for the kitchen, no noise earlier. We were here and we were picking up on noise from the side of the TV. That's gone. We walked into a, a very strong field here, which is now gone. And it extended all the way up to the door. That's gone. And this corridor had a lot of noise in it, which has now gone. And we know that we walked out of the field when we walked into this bedroom. We walked back into it, down this corridor, and it's no longer there. So, it's very clear that it is the TV that is producing the noise. Now, there's something I want to show you regarding plants. I noticed a few months ago that the, the plant rate growth on this plant had changed. In fact, the whole plant changed. It went very stalky. And the leaves shrank. They, they went very, very small and very different to what they're supposed to look like. In fact, it doesn't look like the same plant. This is the last of the original leaves before it came into this location. This is what they should look like. And this is what they do look like. So you can see the glossy effect very glossy leaves. The original leaves don't, are not glossy, they're very matte leaves. So, we saw earlier that there is a very strong magnetic field in this location. It appears to have changed the plant growth. I'm going to show you what the plant should look like because I have another one in one of my bedrooms. And its growth is completely different. It's completely normal, as it should be. Here it is. This is what it should look like. Very large leaves with some colouring, some patterns in them. And new growth coming up that matches it. And you'll notice that the leaves are not glossy. Much to my surprise, I discovered that this has already been researched in the 1950s by a man called John Nash Ott. He wrote this book, it's called Health and Light. He has a number of books available on the subject. And he reports everything I found in my house regarding television as stuff that he found in the 1950s regarding television. And he reported it to the government. He also has a video called Exploring the Spectrum by John Nashart. I recommend that you obtain a copy and watch it. It's very enlightening. And he basically spent his life researching electromagnetic radiation and light radiation and its effects on health and light. And he came up with the conclusion that it will change plant growth and it will change the growth of children and it will change the growth of mental development in children and animals and adults. So it's somewhat concerning that today we have the very latest flat screen TV technology in our houses that we've been told is wonderful. I have to say I really enjoy the picture on my flat screen TV but I, nobody told me it was going to fill my house with electromagnetic interference and change the way my plants grow. So 
This is the last time you'll be seeing my TV in operation. It's being switched off and I'm going back to books, paper books, because they do not give out electromagnetic radiation. I hope you enjoyed this and uh, take care. Thanks. Bye.